All right, welcome to week eight of the cross country training for the summer and getting close to the end of the summer. So hopefully you guys are still feeling motivated and starting to see the results that you guys have been putting in uh, for the work you've been putting in this summer. Uh, we have a lot of things coming up this week and I uh, just wanted to go over the schedule as usual. Uh, just a reminder that we do have our camp coming up uh, in a week and so it actually starts next week. Uh, if you haven't signed up, you have the link to it here. Uh, you also have uh, a link to some more information that uh, just goes through, runs through kind of what the camp is going to be like, as well as uh, uh, some other details of where to show up, when to show up, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, as well as if you haven't filled this out, uh, most everyone has, but there's a t-shirt form and medic uh, more importantly, the medical information form. Uh, almost everyone has turned in their t-shirt size. Uh, so once again, you can still sign up for it, uh, but the chance to get a t-shirt here is quickly uh, narrowing because the t-shirts are uh, uh, need to be here on time for the camp. Um, so to go over what we're doing this week for training, uh, here's what the plan looks like for each of the different groups. Uh, obviously today, Monday, has already uh, happened for a lot of you guys, and uh, so you might have already gotten in your run this morning. Uh, but today was just an easy day because uh, the schedule is a little bit flipped around this week due to a challenge run later on in the week. Um, so uh, the easier, uh, long, the easier moderately long distance run is uh, moved to today and uh, on Monday, and we have Tuesday uh, as the aerobic run, and then Wednesday's workout uh, for any of the uh, people doing the workouts are five, four, three, two, one uh, on periods, and there's a minute rest in between each of the uh, the fast periods. And the, the pace that you need to be trying to go for that is uh, about tempo pace, which is uh, faster than you would run on an aerobic run and faster than you would run, obviously, in an easy or long, slow distance run. So you're trying to push yourself pretty hard here, but not as though you're doing a full on race. So you would start off with uh, doing a warm up, a mile warm up. Uh, you would do a five mile or sorry, a five minute uh, stretch of going fast and then you would take a minute break. And then you do four minutes, a minute break, three minutes, a minute break, all the way down to one minute. And then you would just do your recovery uh, mile after that. If you're in group C, you would want to do a four minute, uh, four, three, two, one uh, dif uh, distance, uh, or sorry, uh, four, three, two, one uh, time set. And, and that would entail your whole workout. For Thursday, we have a 12 mile run, uh, which for those of you guys uh, paying attention, we've kind of been slowly building up to this all summer long, uh, but this is gonna be kind of a special one. And uh, let me tell you why. So Thursday's run is special because it's actually going to be taking place in the same location as the uh, normal runs that we do on Thursdays. It's gonna be starting from Forest Park, but instead it's actually going to be going down to the arch. And, uh, and I actually moved the long run to Thursday's run because I want to be able to get the full distance in down to the arch. And so there's a 12 mile loop, uh, or sorry, 12 miles, uh, six miles out and back uh, that gets you from the Forest Park Visitor Center all the way down to the arch and back. And uh, so for any of you guys who've been working on building up your distance, or if you want to just do a challenge run, this is going to be a longer, slower run. Uh, we're not trying to push the pace, but it is trying to get to that uh, kind of a uh, special place that takes a little bit more miles to get to. Uh, so I hope many of you guys will be able to come out and join me and, uh, and the other runners on that. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. And on that note, uh, the Tuesday run is going to actually be changed to the Grants Trail. Coach Hamer is gone this week, and he's uh, not going to be in the St. Charles location. And so I thought it'd be fun to try a different trail, show you guys some other spots to run around town. And so we're going to be uh, starting from the Grants Trail, the 10-mile trailhead. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Uh, once again, on Friday, just an easy uh, an aerobic run, and we do have a three-mile tempo on Saturday. Uh, since the camp is next week, everyone's got a rest day on Sunday uh, with the uh, obvious goal of recovering. Uh, 13 minutes of core each of these days this week. Uh, make sure you're really continuing to sweat the strength uh, so that you're ready for next week's camp as well as for uh, later on in the season. All right, so here's the meetup locations for each of these. Uh, Grants Trail obviously is, uh, it's called the Grants Trail Mile 10 Trailhead. Uh, it's right off of Highway 44 in Kirkwood, and obviously the Visitor Center is the same spot. 
The run next, uh, sorry, the run this coming Thursday is actually going to be at 6.15 a.m. And so that's really important that we're starting a little bit earlier just so we can get out there uh, and, and do most of that before anything gets too busy uh, along that pathway there. Um, so if you're joining us for that, make sure you're uh, getting there by 6.15. Tuesday's run is going to be at the normal time of 7.30. Uh, here's the full path for anyone who's looking at this with their uh, parents or just wants to see what we're doing for the Thursday run. Uh, here's kind of the rough course. We should be done and uh, anyone who's doing the 12 milers should be back closer to 8 uh, at 8.15 at the latest if we have to stop and walk for any reason. Uh, but here's the, the full distance there. And here's kind of the step by step. I'm not going to read it off for you guys, but you can kind of check through it and pause if you have any questions on it. There are a couple alternative distances if you wanted to do a six mile total run, an eight mile total run. Uh, there's some ways to kind of see where these turning points are. Here's the turning point for the six mile for the eight mile and there's even a 10 mile turnaround. Uh, but once again, I encourage you guys, if you guys are close distance wise to in your training to be able to hit 12 miles, I encourage you to try and do the, uh, the arch run with us. Uh, once again, join Strava if you haven't. We're gonna be doing it this season regardless. So let's get started with it early. Uh, if you haven't joined GroupMe yet, send me a message. A couple of you guys have uh, gotten on there. Uh, and continue to hydrate, especially for these runs this week. It's a little bit on the more mild side, but it's still it's still a hot summer runs in St. Louis. So uh, make sure you're doing that. Uh, finally, don't forget the, uh, these final re uh, reminders for our first day of practice on August 12th. Uh, a few of you guys, uh, actually quite a few of you guys, still need to turn in or get an updated physical uh, for that to start so that you can actually come out with us on the first day of practice. Um, so continue to work on that and we should be ready to go. Here's the physical uh, form that you need to fill out and it has more information on what you need to do uh, to complete that. Uh, last reminder as well, if you haven't gotten a watch for yourself uh, for the season or for in previous seasons, uh, make sure to start thinking of that. Come into the season ready to go with your, with your right gear uh, so you can uh, hit the ground and start running, of course. Um, and I'm going to use the same uh, quote from last week because I think it is uh, really important. Uh, obviously, you guys have uh, gone from uh, the beginning of the summer with hopefully, you know, maybe coming off of a, a spring of not training as much or anything like that. And you've hopefully started to build these routines in your life. Uh, so continue to try and think about how can I start to make positive uh, changes that, that get me into a healthy zone before school starts. Uh, and so a morning run is a good way to do that. And, and that gets one piece of this puzzle that's going to take to build the runner that we want you guys to be and that we know you guys can be uh, this coming fall. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you hopefully out at the run. And of course, make sure to let us know what, uh, what you have been doing so that we can follow along.